happy Monday. I'm digital correspondent Sarah Strackhouse. Welcome to Real News and Weather, where we give you the breakdown of the seven-day forecast and your top headlines in under five minutes. So this first story, Easter isn't completely over, at least for the White House. The President and First Lady hosted the 141st annual Easter egg roll on the South Lawn today, a tradition that first began in 1878 under President Hayes. According to Fox News, thousands of children and their families took part in Be Best Hopscotch and Musical Eggs. Fox News reports the first family feels like a weight has been lifted at the end of the Russia investigation and the release of the Mueller report last week. And while there was no judgment of obstruction of justice for the president, he is still not exonerated. And the U.S. is stepping up pressure on Iran. According to the Associated Press, this morning the Trump administration said, quote, it will no longer longer exempt any countries from the U.S. sanctions if they continue to buy Iranian oil. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says it's to, quote, deprive the outlaw regime of the funds that it has used to destabilize the Middle East for decades. Current waivers expire on May 2nd. No more will be granted. And this should cut off about $50 billion a year in Iranian revenue from oil export. And the suspect accused of murdering a University of South Carolina student did not show up in court today. That is because he did not post his bond. 25-year-old Nathaniel Rowland was arrested and charged with murder and kidnapping of 21-year-old Samantha Josephson about a month ago after she allegedly got into his car mistaking it for her rideshare. In the wake of this death, last week Uber announced a new feature to keep riders safer. According to USA Today, the app will, quote, push out an alert for riders to check the license plate, make and model of the vehicle, and name and picture of the driver to confirm it's the correct person picking them up. Additionally, South Carolina lawmakers passed the Samantha Josephson Ride Sharing Safety Act earlier this month, requiring ride sharing services to show illuminated signs in their vehicles. The bill is now up for approval by Senate. Time now for weather with meteorologist Cash Payne. Cash, it was a beautiful weekend this Easter. Yeah, it really was. Uh, yeah. Quite different than what we've had in previous mm -hmm. weekends. The sun was finally out for the holidays, and I actually got out, mowed the yard, got a little bit sunburned. Yeah. You know, it's getting to be that time of the year. It really is. Yeah. Got to remember sunscreen. Got to remember the sunscreen, <laughs> especially here in Texas. Today, quite a different story. Lots of clouds around North Texas. Temperatures still a little bit cooler than yesterday. We're going to hold on to those uh, mid to upper 70s, but mostly cloudy skies. A little bit humid out there in anticipation of some wetter weather that we're going to be seeing on later this week, which will actually start tomorrow. So let's go ahead and pull up that seven day forecast and we'll see exactly what will be going on heading into Tuesday. Still mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures f staying fairly steady in the upper 70s, around 78 degrees. Some small rain chances, I would say 30% chance increasing going into Tuesday night and into your Wednesday as a cold front slowly creeps its way down through Texas going into Wednesday. So temperatures will drop, but the main trigger mechanism will certainly produce some storms going into Wednesday. Some folks said 100% rain chance. I rarely put 100% because not everyone is going to see rain at every point during the day, but 90% is a pretty good mark for rain chances going into Wednesday. Going also 70% on your Thursday, temperatures still staying in the 70s. Warming up though as high pressure takes hold of the Texas weather pattern going into the later parts of the week. So we will see some rain. You'll probably have to break out the rain gear, but Strax heading into later parts of the week. It looks like the sun will be back out, hopefully for the weekend. Well, it looks like we're getting on a better cycle than we've been in the last few weeks. Yeah, it's all going to be, yeah. you know, while you're at work. Perfect. All yeah, right. Perfect. Gosh. Thanks so much. Yeah. All right. Time now for the rundown. It's a daily email that goes out from Jeff Crilly. It has some of the top headlines and an expert to weigh in on the subject. The first story on the rundown, could antibiotic resistant superbugs become a bigger killer than cancer. That's a story out of 60 Minutes and talking about this is medical expert Dr. James Pinckney. The next story, are senior citizens keeping millennials out of the home buyers market? That's a story out of Deseret News and talking about this is Julie Frizzoni with Open Door. And the final story, Target caters to shoppers looking for clean products with new brand. That's out of CNBC and talking about this is expert in chemical free products Sam Wallen Russell. Well thanks so much for joining us this Monday. Had a wonderful work week and we'll see you back here on Friday.